Okay. You know, I'm delighted that we that we're able to increase our contracts for sure. The inaugural World 15 tournament is upon us. Wales will aim to compete against top tier nations out in New Zealand. But for Eleanor Snowsill, a senior member with 76 caps to her name, it's time for a different challenge. I've been dreading this, so bear with me. Probably most of you know already, I've been offered the chance um, to lead one of the new player development centres in Cardiff Met. Um, it's literally my dream job, it's what, you know, I could have only sort of dreamt of stepping into after rugby career. Um, unfortunately, it means I'll be retiring with immediate effect um, because it's not something that I can do alongside a playing career. Part of me is really gutted to be leaving right now because we've got some real momentum following on from an awesome Six Nations campaign um, and leading into the XV, competing with the other top five teams in the world. Uh, most of us in this room have played for Wales for free. Don't forget that. Um, we kept turning up day after day um, despite the challenges. I've got no doubt that in all the years I've been part of a Welsh squad, this is by far the one with the most potential to do great things. Um, you've got the support around you, you've got the nation behind you, um, and I 100% back you to make the semi-finals in the next World Cup. And once you're in the semi-finals, anything can happen. Um, so believe in yourselves and believe in each other. Diolch. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a pleasure. I've loved it. Thank you. you. Thanks. Eleanor Snowsill will be missed, but for us within our squad, it's a great opportunity for us to expose new players, especially in the global tournament. WXV is going to be a great opportunity for us to see where we're at post Six Nations and how much growth we've, we've had in this team over the last 12 months. Jazz has been awesome to have her back, you know, I know just having her in our environment has been great, you know. But we're excited by having her sort of electrifying pace. Yeah, we're just delighted to have her back. Getting an opportunity to play in WXV, which is a new tournament, really excited to be to be involved in. We split the pre-season into two blocks of three weeks. So the first three weeks was about connecting as a group, spending time together, but also it was about working hard and putting a lot of s and work into the group. Okay, so here we have the trampoline. A big trampoline, which is much springier than that trampoline. Let's watch Cheese do it, because that'll be funny. <laughs> oh, that's what not to do. Oh, goodness me. My second. Three, two, one. Go, 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 go. First of all, well done, okay? It's different, okay? It's a bit of fun, but it's also hard work behind there, and we bring ourselves tight as a group, okay? Uh, so, well done. Great uh, end to a week of good work, okay? Enjoy the, the weekend.
With their physical prowess progressing after each session, the squad intend on maintaining their upward trajectory with the announcement of seven new full-time contracts, taking the total to 32. Yeah, you know, I'm delighted that we that we're able to increase our contracts for sure. You know, it's it's definitely trying to get into that top three, top four teams in the world, and um, and that's what we want to do. And this is a massive step in the right direction. So um, yeah, very very happy to be able to like play and train uh, with the squad full time and be fully focused on that. Like that's really important for me at the moment to be the best that I can be for the team. So yeah, I'm really excited for the opportunity I've got with the WRU now and like pushing forward um, to this new competition and then into Six Nations next year as well. We want to keep closing the gap. We want to look at England, look at France. It's about what, what does the team look like in 2025? What does the team look like in the next World Cup cycle? Um, and to be able to provide a talent pool that comes through, to be able to continue to grow the athletes within our group, uh, I think that's really important. In light of the forward strides being made with the future of Welsh rugby, additional steps have been taken to immortalise those who came before. The legends wall that, we, that we're starting to build within our team room is something that's super important for us. Um, you know, we want to grow a legacy, create the history, especially since the professional era. But also before that, you know, a lot of players have done so much in the Welsh shirt, like Eleanor Snowsill. Carl Thomas, Shuan Lily Crap, and we want young players to see them in that team room and, th and think about, well, I want to be up there one day, but also we can always remember what they did in the shirt for, for the game in Wales, and it's really important that we keep growing that. Thank you very much for, for your time this morning. And thank you for everything you've done in the jersey. So, Dioch Marion, thank you. My niece Connie has decided to start playing rugby. Every Wednesday now I commit to coming down to helping out um, the Neath Athletic team and just helping the under sevens. So welcome to my Wednesdays. <laughs> when you pass it, push your hands through. You know what you're doing. She's took to it like a duck in water. I mean, my dad plays, I play, um, her dad plays. So she's like grown up with rugby around her, but never really been exposed to it herself. And actually it was one day she said she wanted to give rugby a go after watching one of the Wales games. I mean, she's getting it, which is great for an under sevens team. Like they're starting to get it, starting to understand. And yeah, it's just really exciting to see where she goes. Hopefully she sticks with it. Ah, I didn't pass it. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> You're silly Billy. Ah. With WXV on the horizon, the squad prepare for their test match against the USA. As a result, the team have been relocated to North Wales. You got the quality in this room to be the best team in the world. I want to win the Six Nations. I want to reach a final of a World Cup. But this has to come before this for us to do, to do that. However hard it is. We inspired the nation in the Six Nations. Let's do it now in the north of our country. And then let's do it when we're on the other side of the world. Thank you. With the message being to inspire the nation, 
the squad make the final preparations to do so against the USA. So the group now take us into to the USA this week. So Gwenny, CP, Cease, Abby Fleming, and the backs end, Kira, Rob, Karis. Let's go. Hello. Hi. You okay? Yeah. Are you excited to come to North Wales on Saturday? Yep. Yeah. What's that? It's my little daffodil that I'm going to wear with my Welsh costume. No way. So when I'm singing the anthem, is that what I've got to look out for? Yeah. Yeah, that on your head. Is that going to be on your head? Yeah. Come on then, put it on. Let's have a look. Look <laughs> at that. I love it. Um, I'm going to be wearing number 16 when I get when I get on the pitch, so you'll have to cheer for me, is that alright? I thought you would either have two or... What's the number now? Yeah, two or 16, that's right. Yeah, two or 16. Yeah, so I'm going to be 16 this weekend, so you'll have to keep an eye out for my number. Okay. And tell me, have you got any games on Sunday? Because that's going to be a long day on Saturday, so you're going to have to get a good sleep when you get home. And then who are you playing Sunday? So you get to put new pyjamas on, have a good night's sleep and then up ready for your own rugby in the morning. Now well, that's yeah. exciting, isn't it? I'll um, come over and see you after the game. How about that? Yeah. Yeah? Should we try and, if there's time, we can go to somewhere for food? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, worry about that before the game. But after the game, come and see me. Yes, okay. Alright then. Lots of love. Love you. I'll Bye. see you soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> yeah, the best part after any game, whether I'm starting, benching, or not even involved, maybe, is just being able to see my family come in there to, to support. So definitely be running over and giving Connie, mum, dad, everyone a big hug. Uh, my sister Stacey will be coming up as well. So yeah, just love having them there to watch me. It is Wales against USA, but this test match here, it's all preparation for the new WXV competition as far as Wales are concerned. All this hard work, all this sacrifice, okay? We earn it today. Let's go out there and show them what we can do. And enjoy it. Let's go. Eat, die, drink! They've waited five months to get back in action. That was where we left the story. And here we go, the next chapter that begins here in Colwyn Bay against the USA. Wales certainly fancy their chances, crabbing towards the post. They've still got possession though of Wales. They claim a try and the referee awards a try as well. Bethan Lewis, who could get a penalty try coming here. Kira Bevan, don't need the penalty try. Kira Bevan sniping her way over. Sicilian to Peloto. Something for Jazz Joyce, maybe. Jazz Joyce gets outside. Uh, up to Bevan and Lisa Newman walks it in for Wales. Half time, it's Wales 19, the USA 3. A couple of points I just want to cover off. Okay, first of all, awesome first half. From a game management point of view, ball carried and latching. These two stats here are really important. So time and the option, we've had six minutes, they've only had 27 seconds. Okay, so let's look to back that up the second half. Great stuff. Heads on, win the next minute now and start the second half. We're receiving a kickoff. Think about how clean we want to be in our catch, okay? How clean we want to get ourselves set up. 
and get out there. Shorten line out, Cecilia Tupelot has gone to the back. We've got uh, Beth and Lewis, the number eight at the front. And Alex Callender up in the scrum half, here comes the drive, over the line, there's no stopping that. Referee awards the try straight away. That was absolutely tank-like and unstoppable. And here, Rachel Taylor, is a red letter day for the local girl. Yeah, first half for Mel Metcalf, absolutely amazing moment. I think all of uh, Kenru Nant and uh, Club Rugby Nant Conway are standing on their feet. It's an amazing moment for her. First ever victory over the USA. They've beaten the USA here by 38 points to 13. With a statement victory over USA, Wales have well and truly inspired a nation. Their progress has produced new debutantes, new fans, and perhaps a brighter future. Yeah. Next stop, New Zealand.